Hello, in this video, I will give you more insight in Industry 4.0 by using an example. Hi, my name is Ilko van der Waal, and I'm the Managing Director of the organization PLC Open. Welcome here. If we talk about Industry 4.0, we look to manufacturing. And manufacturing has three main items, quality, cost, and customization. And between those three challenges, you have increased product diversities, shorter product life cycle, and changeable product quantities. So the key word in Industry 4.0 is mass customization. And we do that via modularization, collaboration, and adaptivity. Of course, you want to maintain your quality that you're used to, although you do mass customization. And this example is about that. This is a simple example for Industry 4.0. I call it My Yogurt Production Line. What we create is a mass customized product, My Yogurt, on an existing production line. First of all, I create an order online and I want 98 grams of yogurt, I want 45 grams of strawberries and 40 grams of blueberries. I want it to be delivered at 8.39 at a pickup point in Amsterdam. So it needs a Dutch label and a Dutch cap. And when I receive my product, I want to be able to check if my order is processed correctly. So I want the information in the cup. So the starting point is programming the order in the cup. So here I have a cup. The cup has an RFID to contain information. And with that, we make the cup responsible for its own creation. How do we fulfill this order? We have a transportation belt. We put the cup on that one and it moves to the first filling station, which is the yogurt filling station. There the RFID is read. 98 grams is what we want. And that's what the yogurt filling station puts in it. Then we move to the next workstation. And in this case, it's red again, 45 grams of strawberries. We add that one. And then we get the next one, 40 grams of blueberries. And of course, we can have more filling stations here. And it can be that there are filling stations that we do not use for sugar or honey or all kinds of other components. It's just we use those that are part of the order. At the capping station, we need a cap, so I do a PLC open cap in this case. And in the printing station, we add the PLC open label. And last but not least, we do the inspection where we check if it's all done. We check the weight, we check if there's a cap. We can do all kinds of checks there. And we send that up to an ERP system and we send that down to the cup itself. So in the end, I can check what is really done to my order. Of course, the cup does not have to be on a transportation belt. It can be on an AGV, an automatic guided vehicle. With that one, it can make its own tour through the production plant and visit the different workstations. It's a different concept in that sense, but it works too. It can find its own route in that sense. So recap for this one, it's a different philosophy in creating the products but it gives me mass customization. It can be used on existing production lines. It gives me the mass customization, my yogurt, it creates the flexibility there while maintaining the quality because it's the existing production line. And you can use the same personnel even for maintenance. Some words to PLC open. We combine the logic, motion and safety into one development environment to make these kinds of production lines possible. We provide with that one structuring, decomposition, reuse, and less training. And on top of that one, we add communication, exchange, and training guidelines. We cannot do that all by ourselves. We need you too. So join our organization, give feedback, tell us what is helpful, tell us where we can improve. If you want to get in touch, check the website, plcopen.org, or send me an email on the email address here under. Thanks for watching and hope to talk to you soon.